Hi guys, so finally I'm getting around to doing this uh, sort of in-depth comparison of all these different uh, compact wireless microphone systems that are uh, available right now. Now I have five different systems today, from one from Rode, uh, one from Hollyland, Lensco, Comica and uh, Synco. Now quickly before I start this comparison, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Storyblocks. Uh, they have a great selection of uh, video and also sound effects and music that you can use in your upcoming project. But I'll talk about them a little bit later. Now there are many other systems, but I did not include them in there because they did not meet one of the three criteria that I have for this sort of a comparison. So. All of these systems that I have here today are a dual um, system, meaning they have two microphones slash transmitters that connect to one receiver. They also all have a built-in microphone capsule within each transmitter. So uh, if you don't have a lavalier microphone that you want to use, then you can use that microphone uh, that's built in. But also, the, if you do want to use a lav, then all of these will accept them. And then the last thing is that all of these have a built-in lithium ion battery. Uh, that will power these units for a whole day. So now that you know what all of them have in common, what are the differences? Uh, the first thing obviously is gonna be the price. And if you don't have time to watch this whole video and you're just kind of wondering, you know, am I, can I get like something that's really cheap but just as good as the most expensive one? Well, here on the two extreme ends, I have the Synco system. I have one here from Rode. And this one's, uh, I think it's around $300 right now. And this one's like 150 bucks. Again, depends where you look look at it, uh, you know, and what time you're checking the prices. But these are the two extreme, basically, ranges of the price range. And also, if you're looking at it, I kind of arranged already these microphone systems in a in sort of my preference. So my first one, my most favorite one, is actually the Rode Wireless Go 2. Then my second favorite one is from Hollyland. It's the Lark 150. After that is the LensGo wireless microphone system, then the Comica Boom XD, and then the least favorite is the Synco. But regardless, if, if let's say the budget is your you know, main factor that you're gonna be deciding on, on which microphone system to get, then rest assured you can still get the, the cheapest one, the Synco, and still get professional audio. Now, I've actually reviewed a lot of other compact wireless microphone systems that I'm not including in this comparison, uh, but if you guys are interested in them, uh, as always, you can go to my website at tomantasfilms.com. Uh, but again, I'm not including them in this because uh, at the end of the day, I think the quality just wasn't there. These ones, I think, are all gonna give you sufficient quality for most video or, or film work. So let me first start with the least uh, expensive one, the one from Synco. As you'll notice, I only have one receiver and one transmitter slash microphone, uh, even though I'm comparing dual microphone systems. But that's because that's the version that I have up here. There is actually a version that Synco sells for, like I said, 150 bucks or somewhere around there which is a dual microphone system. Otherwise, it's identical to the one I have up here. Uh, and again, if you don't care about having a dual system, then you can get this one for even cheaper. So what are some of the good things about uh, Synco? Uh, first is that it, they're probably one of the easiest ones from all of them to use, partially because it has the least features, but also it just is kind of really trouble free. You just turn them on both the transmitter and the receiver uh, and you plug it into your camera or your recorder and you can start recording. Uh, I also like the, the windscreen that's included with this. Uh, again, it's gonna just reduce some of the wind noise. And now this system is rated to work at up to 50 meters or 164 feet uh, distance. And it does work at that distance, but I find that basically going past 70 feet, it's kind of unreliable if there is a lot of uh, wireless video interference. Now, if there was no wireless video interference or other, you know, many other signals, in the area when I was testing it, then it worked even past that. Like I, I tested it all the way to like 230 feet and it worked flawlessly. Uh, the main negative I would say about this system is that when you have, for example, the microphone slash transmitter, like I said, mounted on your shirt, you know, or your talent, something like that, usually this is how you're gonna mount all of these systems. And then let's say you have the talent turn around from the camera and now the signal is passing through the body or if it's just passing through any object, then this system, uh, it basically will cut out very, very quickly at even really short like distances of like 50, 30 feet away. So you really just wanna make sure that the transmitter has a direct line of sight uh, to the receiver. 
Uh, otherwise, again, you're cutting out uh, and, and risking losing that signal. But if you guys want to see in detail how the system sounds, how it performs at the different ranges, all that stuff, then uh, just follow the link in the description of this video. And there you'll be able to see the full review of the Synco wireless microphone system. All right, next up, we have the system from Comica. So what are some of the positives uh, of the Comica uh, wireless microphone system? Uh, it's, it's a dual microphone system, again, like all of them. Uh, it's very easy to use, just like the Synco one. It, just like the Synco, it has the same advertised range of 50 meters or 164 feet, and it works at that distance no problem. In fact, actually works you know, at a longer distance in my testing. Uh, I love the windscreen actually, maybe even love it uh, the best out of all of these systems because it's this kind of a rubber uh, kind of a windscreen that you put on top of the microphone capsule here uh, and it just, again, it just works really well, doesn't fall off of the, the microphones uh, and again, it cuts down on the wind. But if you guys want to see the test that I did with this actually on a beach, a windy day too, uh, so you can see how those windscreens work, but also just in general how the, the microphone system uh, from Comica works, then again, follow the links in the description of this video. Now, perhaps the one bad thing about the Comica wireless microphone is that uh, it's similar to the Synco, although not as bad. Uh, at Can uh, you, when you were past like 50, 70 feet, uh, if the microphones slash transmitters are behind your talent or behind any kind of object, it will start losing the signal. All right, now let's move on to the next system, which is the LensGo. So some of the good things about the LensGo is that, again, it's a compact but dual wireless microphone system. Uh, the units are about the same size as all the other units I have to here today. They work really well at the advertised range, which is 230 feet. And in fact, I've been testing it at 300 and even I think the longest I've gone is like 350 feet and it does work at that distance too. Um, so that's good. But I would say probably the, the key standout feature is that uh, these microphones slash transmitters uh, can also act as uh, backup recorders slash standalone recorders, meaning uh, you can actually put in a micro SD card here in both of them and then Whenever basically these are connected, you can still hit record here, you have a little record button, and these will actually record whatever audio is coming in through the mic or through the, the lav mic that I have plugged in, and they'll actually record that sound internally on the micro SD card. So this means that if, let's say, you do lose signal at a longer range, you don't have to worry because you have a you know backup recording of it, so in editing you can replace that audio. Uh, and not only that, but you can actually even use these without the receiver. So you can just turn on one of these. Let's say you just want to, uh, I don't know, mic up uh, one actor or something like that. And you don't care about having the wireless signal transmission. Then you can just literally use this as a little portable recorder. And it's very easy to just click record, click record again to stop and that's it. Um, so yeah, nice system. The bad things, maybe there are two about this, is that although there's sometimes I like this, these kind of clips that they have in the back, like all the other ones have that allow you to clip this to your shirt or to, let's say, put it on the a cold shoe mount on, a, on top of your camera. What I find is because they're basically a magnetic system, so you'll see this kind of detaches and has a magnet that kind of snaps in. Uh, there's two problems with it. First of all, it's very kind of flimsy and it just rotates very easily because it just rotates around that magnet. Uh, so that's one thing I don't like. And then the next thing is, a lot of times when I'm like trying to clip it on a shirt, as you see, when I'm pressing it, the whole magnet just detaches. And uh, and I've actually had one time where I was walking with this, I tripped, and this thing basically detached. So it could actually fall off. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, now, this will only happen if you really, really, like I said, really, there's a lot of force behind it because the magnets are fairly strong, but just it's something to be aware of. And in a way, I almost wish that this just did regular clips in the back, uh, like all the other systems. All right, now let's move on to the Hollyland. Uh, so Hollyland is, again, good thing about it is that it's a compact dual wireless microphone system, like all the other ones. Uh, it's actually the smallest one out of all the ones that I have. Now, the difference is not big, but it is the smallest, the lightest. Uh, uh, again, has the built-in microphone capsules. It has the, you know, LAV 3.5 millimeter jack connections here. It actually does come with LAV microphones. It comes with a lot of extras. And in fact, all of these come with little extras. I'm going to show you right after I'm done sort of the main comparison part of this. 
Uh, now you'll notice the the receiver itself actually is bigger than all the other ones. But I mean, you know, usually that's not a, a problem, at least for me, because this is something that's going to be on top of the camera. So I mainly just care about the transmitter slash microphones being nice and small. Uh, what I do like about this one, though, is that it has a nice, you know, digital display and it has these two actual physical knobs. So while you're recording, you can easily adjust the level from each of these microphones coming in just by, you know, adjusting these knobs. Um, and then uh, another thing is it's also fairly easy to use. Now it does have a few more settings, so it's not as fast and you could say plug and play as some of the other ones that I mentioned there, but that's just simply because again, just, they just give you more options. The advertised working range for the system is 230 feet and it works at that range, no problems. Uh, in fact, it works at a much longer range. I've tested out up to 350 feet. Uh, and again, there's no excessive wireless video signal interference. This will work no problem. Really, the only maybe negative thing about this is that, again, at those longer ranges, like the past 200 feet, if this is behind your actor, like I said, it's, or behind any object, then it doesn't have direct line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver, then you will start losing and cutting out the signal. Now, let's talk about my most favorite out of all of these systems, which is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So again, there's some of the good things about it is that just like all the other ones, it's a wireless, compact wireless microphone system. Uh, that's a dual system. So again, two microphones slash transmitters connect to one receiver. Uh, it uh, works at a nice long range of 656 feet. And I've tested that out. So you guys can check out my video, again, my in-depth review that I did of this uh, by following the link in the description. And it works at that. In fact, it actually works basically a little bit past that range. It's also very easy to use and set up a system. Uh, and I love the, the windscreens that are included with this. Uh, they're nice, small, compact, but they really do reduce the wind noise and they're nice and secure. Uh, like once you put it in there, they, again, they don't fall off. Uh, and, uh, and I guess the last and sort of the key feature of this is that uh, it also will allow you backup recording and within the microphone slash transmitter capsules uh, and it has a built-in uh, memory card so you, unlike the other system from Lensgo you do not have to provide an actual SD card so you can record internally and you have two uh, record settings you can do uncompressed and compressed the compressed one you'll get up to 24 hours of recording and it's that's pretty much what i use because the compressed one sounds really good but if you really want that top notch quality then you can use the uncompressed record setting uh, and that will give you around seven hours of internal recording uh, now there's some with some of the latest feature updates that uh, road actually release uh, these systems can also now act as a sort of standalone uh, portable recorder. So again, you don't even need the, uh, the receiver for this. So you can just, you know, start recording on a little built-in microphone or a little lav and just use each one of these as a little portable recorder, which is really neat too. And really there's not much like bad, you know, I can say about this. this Rode is really, uh, like I said, is the best out of all these systems uh, that I have up here and that are right now available on the market. Maybe the one bad thing maybe is that, uh, or maybe it could be a slightly improved is the price, right? It is the most expensive, but at the same time, it's not a big price difference between some of the other systems. So um, not talking about the price, I guess maybe the only other feature is that, yes, at like really long ranges, like once you go past 300 feet and if the transmitter and the receivers are in that in direct line of sight, you could start losing the signal. But again, you have that backup internal recording, so you don't need to really worry about that. Uh, but but yeah, that's something to just be aware of, which is still way better than all the other systems. Like I said, uh, at the range that it works at, even without an open line of sight. Now, let's say you can't afford any of these great wireless uh, microphone systems, but you still want to be able to get good quality uh, sound effects in your video or, or audio production. Uh, then that's where today's sponsor, which is Storyblox, comes in real handy. And that's because Storyblox has a huge library of sound effects, music, and also stock footage uh, that you can use in any project. Uh, they even have a nice selection of fully customizable graphics, uh, 
in fact, uh, Starblux has a really impressive collection of uh, 4K stack footage, graphics, sound effects, music that cover a wide range of topics. Uh, they also offer unlimited downloads, which is always helpful. Plus, all the clips are royalty-free for both personal and professional use. So, if you're working on a project where you might need some extra shots, graphics, sound effects, uh, or music, then definitely check out Storyblox using the link in the description of this video. Now let's look at what you're actually going to get when you order each of these systems. So you're going to get the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2. You're going to get this sort of a little padded protective pouch that allows you to carry everything uh, and kind of keep it protected. Uh, you're also going to get some uh, cables, like which are USB to USB-C to charge each of these units. They actually give you three of these cables because again, you have three different you know parts that you have to charge. I almost wish that they maybe could have provided one of these cables that kind of has a split. So you can basically plug this to one charger and then you have three USB-C connections so you could charge all of them with one charger. But unfortunately, they give you three separate cables. You're also going to get that uh, really, really neat uh, windscreen, which, like I said, just clips on nicely in there and is very secure. So you're going to get two of those and you're going to get uh, your audio cable, which is the TRS cable, uh, which allows you to connect the receiver to your camera or your audio recorder. Now you can get uh, other cables, like for example the TRS to TRRS, uh, which will allow you to, for example, connect this to like a cell phone. Uh, and there's also other like cable you can get a USB-C, for example, uh, to USB-C or USB-C to the lightning port connector. So again, you can plug this directly to your phone uh, through a digital interface. But those are all things that you have to buy extra. Next up is the Hollyland Lark 150, and they provide, I, I think, the most things when you buy their system. So. Like I said, you get obviously the transmitters, the receiver, but you also get this uh, cool case, which uh, will basically store all of these things in here. Not only that, but you'll notice all of them, the transmitters and the receivers have this sort of a magnetic sort of a contact there on the bottom. And so you put it in there, it kind of snaps in uh, because like I said, it, it is magnetic. You can close it. And then the cool thing is that you have one USB-C connection here. You plug that in, which they provide you a cable for that. And once you're plugged in, you can actually directly charge uh, all of the pieces uh, with, again, just one cable. Not only that, but the case will also protect uh, your, your microphone capsules and your receivers. Uh, you also do have this sort of a little kind of a soft kind of a pouch that you can use to put this in there to further protect it or to put some of the other accessories. So they do give you two windscreens and these two windscreens do work really well. Uh, they give you a TRS cable, which again is going to allow you to connect this to standard camera or audio recorders. Uh, they give you, like I said, the USB-C cable for charging. And they even give you a lav microphone uh, with extra uh, windscreen on for the lav microphone. Not only that, but you actually get two of these lav microphones uh, that are again included with the system. So really you're kind of getting everything that you need. So you can right away just with purchasing this, you can kind of start rolling. Now, when you get the Lensco wireless microphone system, you're gonna get also a hard sort of a protective case that just like the, the Lark 150 uh, also acts as a char sort of a charging station. So you have your USB-C connection here, plug that in there. And then again, inside you can put all of your transmitters slash microphones in here. Uh, and then you put your receiver then again, you're just going to make sure you're putting the contacts in there. Uh, it will uh, automatically charge all three units for you. Now, it is not magnetic like the, the Hollyland one. Uh, so you just have to make sure that you kind of put it on yourself. And one thing also to be aware of is uh, uh, I've had this for about a month and you'll notice this thing fell off. <laughs> it just it has like a little bit of glue. I guess you just put a little bit of glue yourself and stick it in there or you could just throw it out this is really not necessary but it just kind of shows you again the slight little i guess the quality build that you can kind of expect with a company like this it's just yeah it's a little flimsy and like i said i've never really abused this but again after uh, about a month of usage this already fell off uh, which it is it's still fully functional it just it might look a little bit ugly uh, some other things you're going to get are these really nice uh, windscreens for your uh, microphones, which again, in the review of this unit, I kind of show you how these work and why they're so good. They really clip under and they're, they're really nice and solid. They will not go anywhere. You're also going to get the TRS cable, which is, will allow you to connect your uh, receiver to your camera or audio recorder. Uh, but they actually include a TR 
RS cable, which uh, is also going to allow you to connect this directly to a cell phone uh, that, that uses that connection. Uh, and then, like I said, you get the USB-C connection uh, cable so that you, you can charge all of these together. Uh, you also get this little magnet, and this magnet basically is so that, for example, like let's say you, you want to clip this, but you don't want to be using like this actual clip mechanism, then you can use the magnet basically like this, and you can kind of put this in between your shirt. Let's say, so let's say if this was on the inside, let me put it on there, and here, you can just put the magnet, and you know, you could sort of be like a little pin or something, but you can hide the, the unit further in there, or you can put it somewhere else. And it does hold pretty well, but again, it is magnet, so if you really push it, it could detach, so just keep that in mind. Now, when you buy the Kamika Boom XD uh, system, you're not going to get any protective case, but you are still getting a lot of extras. You're getting uh, those really cool uh, windscreens, which, like I said, kind of have this rubber ring around it, and they slip onto the microphone capsule. They're very secure. You're getting two lavalier microphones uh, included with the system, and these microphones also, like, they have this nice uh, clip-on system that make sure that these are nicely plugged in there, they're not going to detach. Uh, and then you do actually get different cables. So you get your standard uh, sort of TRS cable, you actually get two of them, uh, f because there's, for different cameras, they apparently uh, provide different signal or, or levels of the signal. And they are do, do actually say if it's for Canon or Sony cameras. And then you do actually get that TRRS cable if you want to connect this to uh, most mobile devices that use this connection. And finally, with the Cinco, when you get it, you're also going to get a protective case. Uh, it is an actually a nice case that will kind of keep your units. Again, if you get the dual system, it's just a slightly bigger case that can keep uh, the, all the units there together. And then they also give you all of the cables. So you have your TRS cable uh, for connecting it to your camera or your recorder. You get the little windscreens. Uh, you do get also this charging cable, and that's actually something that I wish that Rode would provide, and that's because this basically gives you one standard USB connection up here so that you can plug this to like a USB power source. And then on the other side you have a splitter and you have two USB-C plugs, so now you can plug both your, your units, or if you have the dual one you'll be able to plug in all three uh, with just using one cable, so that's always helpful. Uh, and then they also will give you, uh, again, depending on whether you get the, the single system I, like I have here or the dual one, you'll get one or two lavalier microphones included. Uh, so again, they do provide quite a bit uh, with this kit. Now hopefully this video gives you sort of a good idea of what you can expect with each one of these compact wireless microphone systems. Uh, now, like I was saying before, they're all going to deliver professional audio quality. Also keep in mind that if you use your favorite lav microphone, which you can plug into all of these, then the, really then the quality is going to be more decided by the actual lav. So then in that case, they're all going to sound the same. But even though there are some slight d differences in the sound of the built-in microphone capsules and all of these, again, uh, you guys can follow and watch in-depth reviews of all of these to hear the sound quality, but I think they're, again, all of them sufficient quality for any professional uh, video and audio work. Anyways, that's it for today's video. As always, head on over to TomAntosFilms.com uh, to subscribe to my newsletter so you stay up to date with any of these other sort of comparisons, gear reviews, filmmaking tutorials, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. My name is Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!